Placing of Concrete Part 2 Placing of Concrete in Columns, Beams and Floors The columns, beams and floors or roofs are the important structural element for any building. The concrete should be placed perfectly at these places. If not, it will lead to structural failure. Before placing the concrete, the forms or shattering should be examined for correct alignment. The forms must be rigid enough to withstand the weight of concrete and loads during construction without any deformation. The finish of forms must be accurate enough such that there is no loss of mortar which otherwise result in honeycomb concrete. The inner surface of forms must be cleaned and oiled before use to avoid any sticking of concrete with the forms and their difficulty in stripping. The reinforcement is placed should be tied tightly and must be free from any forensic agents. The presence of rust, paints, oils or grease should be removed before placing of concrete. The minimum cover of reinforcement should be checked before concreting. The concrete should not be dropped from a high distance, rather it should be dropped from the small height as it could be possible. The concrete should be placed at one point and made to flow sideways such that there is no honeycomb and laitons formation. This can be checked by placing the concrete by layer by layer. The surface of the underlying layer should be kept rough and the lay items formation must be removed. There is a chance of failure to the bond between layers of concrete, so these layers should be placed as soon as possible. By this way, you can place the concrete in columns, beams, and roofs or floors. We will see the remaining situations of placing concrete in our upcoming videos. Till then stay tuned to our channel. Kindly do like, share, comment your views and finally don't forget to subscribe our channel.